everybody welcome to kelly's creations i'm so glad you're here today's a fun video vintage versus farmhouse versus antique what's your favorite so we're going to start with vintage and i just thought it would be cute to create three different items in three different styles and see what everybody loves the most so if you've watched my other videos i bought this jewelry box that i made into santa's house and i had taken off the doors i saved the drawers and i knew i could use them for something else so first i had to take the hardware off the drawer and i had to remove that old velvet insert from the center of the drawer which seems like an easy task but sometimes they're glued down pretty well. Luckily, this one came out with just a little muscle and a nice butter knife that I use in my craft room all the time. I love the knobs on this drawer. So once I had that done, I grabbed my Waverly and plaster and I gave the drawer two coats of that plaster. I absolutely love that color because it's not super bright and it just I think works well with vintage so of course I grabbed some sandpaper and just distressed this a little bit hitting the edges and just giving it that distressed look you can skip this part it's like 50 50 with everybody either love it or hate it <laughs> so if you hate it don't do it <laughs> but I love it I'm still I love distressing so I had these rolls and they're actually tape that I got off of Amazon. Um, if you're interested, I'll have a link below. You can check them out. There's no, I'm not trying to sell them to you. I am a associate. I get a little tiny commission if you buy it, but I'm just always putting them down in my description, <laughs> when I can speak, in my description box in case y'all are interested in checking them out. What I love about this is that it's tape. I loved the vintage look, the writing. I thought that was so pretty. And all I'm gonna do is cut it down to size and I'm gonna put this over the middle, covering the holes, but you can still see them because I will be reattaching those handles. So I'm just trying to straighten it out as best as I can. Once I have it where I want it, all you gotta do is push it down. That's what I love. No Mod Podge, none of that. I love it. I did come in with sandpaper and distressed around the tape just a little bit, not too much. Um, just roughen up the edges a little bit. And you could even go a step further and keep sanding and really trying to make this look part of it, you know? But I didn't think I needed to. So I grabbed a different roll. And this design is kind of like an old magazine. And I thought that would scream vintage for one thing, but I just thought that would be super cute to put inside the drawer. And I just cut it down to size and I didn't care if it kind of overlapped. Um, you could see all the magazine sales and everything and it was fine if it overlapped a little bit. And that's what I used to cover the inside of the drawer. Once I had the inside of the drawer covered, then I came in with my sandpaper or sanding block, um, makeshift sanding block. <laughs> it got dull, so I put some sandpaper around it. I'm still using it. I came in, I kind of sanded around the edges, and that gave me a nice crisp cut and perfect. So if I, I know if I tried this with scissors, it would have been all wonky, and we don't want wonky. So the sandpaper worked perfect. Like I said, you could still see the holes and if I couldn't see it, I just pressed down a little bit until I found where it was a little bouncy. I knew that's where the hole was. So I'm just reattaching the handles. I love these handles. Oh my gosh, I did not want to paint them or do anything to them because I just think they were perfect. This one gave me a little bit of trouble getting it. They were just they weren't even screws you just push them in and pull them out but they're in there pretty good so these are some old drawer pulls that i had and they make great feet i absolutely love these drawer pulls as feet and i just took a black marker and went over them with that black marker um, of course you could use black paint 
this marker just worked really good and I didn't have to dirty a paintbrush. So I'm going to go over the four feet that I'm going to put on my drawer. Using hot glue, I just glued those feet down and I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what my vote is. I'll tell you what my vote is at the end. Oh, it's hard because these are three styles that are my favorite. Vintage, farmhouse, antique. Favorite. So it's really hard to choose which one um, I like better. I really love this drawer. So it's definitely in the running. Once I had those down, I figured it was easier to go over them when they were glued down than to hold them in my hand. And there's that cute little drawer. You can style this so many different ways. Oh my gosh. To seal it, I used some clear wax from Lowe's and I went over the where I had painted it. Um, the, just the face of it and the sides where I had the paint, I went over and wax. I, of course, didn't go over the inside where the stickers or tape is. Why am I calling them stickers? I don't know. Where the tape is. So this just gives it a nice seal. You could also spray it if you have a seal coat too, since I was using chalk paint. It also brings out all of the highlights and where you've distressed it and just kind of makes the piece finished and it makes it pop. So I'm going to show you how I styled it. I styled it a couple different ways in a couple different places in my house. Okay, DIY number two, farmhouse style. Now I'm going to use that same jewelry box. This jewelry box I got my money's worth, I tell you, because I use so many pieces off of it. So I'm going to use the door, and I just am going to use the wood part of it. I'm going to take out the glass. I'm going to take off all the hardware. All I want is that shape of the door. And what's really cool is since the glass was on the door i have automatic indents where that glass was and those are gonna go to my advantage when i'm making this i did take off the handle but i set the handle aside because i am going to be putting the handle back on even though the handle is more vintage it works with farmhouse too i think so I have this great door frame. So I grabbed my Waverly and plaster, same as the drawer, and I gave this door two coats of the Waverly plaster. Then I grabbed some sandpaper and I distressed, distressed, distressed it. And of course, like I said before, if you don't like distressing, then leave it white and don't do this part. I came in afterwards with that clear wax and I sealed this. And um, the rest of this didn't need to be sealed, so I thought let's do this right now, get it out of the way because I didn't want to accidentally hit the rest of the piece, which you'll see now using craft sticks, the jumbo ones. I measured and cut down how many I needed, and then I used my stipple brush to stipple the plaster paint on because I wanted some of that wood grain on the um, on the craft stick, what am I trying to say, to show through. I also grabbed one of these furniture markers from Dollar Tree and I went over each edge with the furniture marker, kind of pushing on the edge of it and it would kind of bleed through the front too. So I did that on all of the craft sticks. So they're cut, they're painted, and they're 
the markers on them. So now just using hot glue, I'm gonna go into that little edge that I had because this had a window, and I am going to put all of my popsicle sticks going all the way up until it's totally full. The last one did not fit perfectly. It did overhang just a tad, but it was okay. Really wasn't that noticeable from the front. So once I had those all in place, I kind of secured it a little bit more just by taking my glue gun and going around all of the edges and adding just a little bit more hot glue so none of these pop out. Then I flipped it over and I added my door handle. Um, you saw me like holding it up and letting it fall on my desk there. That was just to kind of get that glue in there, kind of get it where it's supposed to be. So isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh. I had these decals from Dollar Tree, the rub on transfers, and I wasn't really sure which one I wanted until I saw the recipes and then I knew exactly where I was going with this. So I took the word recipe and I centered it onto one of the craft sticks, rubbing it on until it peels away from the little plastic. And I also grabbed a couple of the florals that were on this transfer page and I added a few florals to this as well. And oh my gosh, I think this is so unique and different. And I love um, the farmhouse look. It has a little vintage twist, I think, with the door handle. I also um, had a vintage recipe, which I am going to clip onto here. Um, this is just for decoration. I'm not going to be using this. So I remembered that in my recipes, I had one that my mom had given me a while back um, that she had. And I thought, what a cute way to display the cute little vintage recipe. I know I'm kind of mixing it, vintage and farmhouse that's okay the gist of this is farmhouse i think but yeah after i had my flowers rubbed on i grabbed one of the um magnets that you get at dollar tree and i just hot glued that down it's a magnetic clip i think it's in the office section so just add in a little hot glue since i won't be using this i know i'm not going to pull it off um, so hot glue worked great. If you were going to be using this, I would suggest like a super glue or E6000 because you would be pulling on it. I wouldn't want it to pop off. So I got that down. I took some twine. I made a cute little twine bow. I glued that to the handle and then I found my little vintage recipe to complete this piece. All I did was make a little bow. Um, this would be cute if you wanted to do a little bitty eucalyptus maybe with a bow that would be super cute as well i just wanted this to stay a little simple so here's the end result guys Okay, moving on to antique, another one of my favorite styles. I had the th bathtub that I got from Dollar Tree. It's just a plastic bathtub in the toy section. And I'm gonna use those cute little drawer pulls for my feet. I grabbed an old bracelet and this project gave me a tr some trouble. I gotta admit this, I knew what I wanted in my head but trying to achieve it really threw me for a loop in a couple steps here, um, mainly with the bracelet and what kind of, at first I was gonna use a dowel rod, then I switched it to a skinny um, handle from a paintbrush, but you'll see. First I'm gluing those feet on because I think those scream vintage bathtub, oh, I just think, yeah right there you got me with vintage just with the feet oh my gosh so here i drilled a hole because i thought i could use a doll rod like i said 
I ended up using that paintbrush handle and then I used some clay. What I wish I would have done here, this is what I would have done different, is used a straw. I didn't even think about using a straw. That would have eliminated me doing the clay and it would have eliminated a lot of headache if I would have just taken a bendy straw and used that for the shower spout because that's what this part is, a shower spout. Then I glued the old bracelet to the top and I used a little bit of electrical tape around it to secure it. This wasn't sturdy enough is why I used clay. So you're gonna see me next wrap all of this in clay and that all of this step could have been avoided if I would have used a straw. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, hindsight 2020, you live and learn, we all make mistakes crafting. I kept this in the video because I worked so hard on it, I wasn't going to edit it out, plus I wanted to show you what I did wrong, so it didn't turn out bad, but it was just way too many steps. <laughs> So I'm adding more electrical tape because I really needed the bracelet not to bend down. That's going to hold the curtain for the vintage bathtub. And yeah, I was just overthinking it. Sometimes you overthink it. So I took it outside and I sprayed the whole piece in fusion black except for the uh, bracelet. I didn't spray that. I didn't think it needed it. So this is how cute is that? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love bathtubs. I love vintage bathtubs. So now here, here's where I kind of take a U-turn. Not with this part. This is just adding decorative accents to the bottom by the feet because that really ties the feet in with the bathtub. So I had some clay and I had these molds and I thought this would be perfect. So I did four of these molds and used glue to glue them onto the bathtub. And then I wrapped that whole pole in clay, which that's the part I wish I wouldn't have done. But you'll see, here it goes. I was having so much trouble getting the clay to stay. Um, and like I said, if I would have used a straw, I wouldn't even have to do this part. All I would have had to do is take some clay and make the spout and just make a little round flat spout and attach it to the straw. So like I said, I was just overthinking this. I'm gonna fast forward through some of this right here um, and get to where it's totally covered. Okay, so there's my spigot. I covered my little stick. Like I said, it's not that bad. A lot of it is hidden with the curtain, but I just, as I've said probably way too many times already, it could have been done with a straw. So now I'm gonna take my black paint and I'm gonna go over the clay and paint this whole piece black because I'm gonna come in and highlight it with another color. I just all wanted it to, start off with a base coat of black and that way I could come in and really highlight the beautiful areas on that clay mold right above the feet. So there it is all in black. I come in with metallic in gold and metallic in silver. Those are two of my favorite metallic paints from Deco Art. For the top spigot, not spigot, the I don't know, the top of the shower, I can't think of what it's called, um, the shower head, <laughs> I tell ya. Um, I did that in metallic silver, and then I came in and I highlighted above the feet in the gold, the silver, black, until I had it looking exactly how I wanted it to look. I also took my stipple brush and I stippled the silver all around the bottom of the bathtub. And I think that just really made this look like an antique. 
and gave it a really cool effect. I will show you a close up. I came in with a gold and this had little knobs on it and a drain and I thought that would be so cute to really highlight those areas in the gold. I put a little bit more gold as well on the molds just to bring out all the little details of them. I also put a little bit of gold and silver on the feet as well. Every layer, I think it starts looking more and more like an antique. So you just keep layering and layering until you have it exactly the way you like it. I had some off-white ribbon and then I had some trim and I thought that would make a great vintage looking shower curtain. So I just cut the ribbon into rows long enough to be able to put them over that bracelet and have them drape on both sides. Then I used hot glue and I just tacked all the individual pieces together so it mimicked one cohesive shower curtain. Now where I have the um, clay coming up for the shower head, since the bracelet, I wouldn't be able to wrap the ribbon around that area. I folded it in half and I just hot glued it to the back of the clay. That way it mimics this going all the way around and it looks like a shower curtain. I just used my scissors and I trimmed up the pieces that were a little bit too long. That way it was all one length. And then I took that trim and I hot glued it going all around the front of that bracelet. Um, what do you think? Should I have left it brown or should I maybe have came in and either painted that trim black or maybe silver? I'm still deciding. Um, if I should go back and paint it, but I'll let you guys take a look and you guys tell me what you think. And here's the antique tub, so cute. Oh my gosh, I have it in my bathroom right now. I absolutely love this piece. So let me know, what was your favorite? Was it the vintage drawer? Was it the farmhouse recipe holder? Or was it the antique tub? Or did you like all three? That's okay too, because that's what I'm going with. I know I told you I'd give you an answer, but I just love all three styles too much to choose. I love you guys just as much, and I'm so blessed and wonderful to have such great subscribers. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, introduce yourself. I love my new subbies, and share with your friends hit that subscribe button help me out <laughs> i hope you guys are all having a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see y'all next tuesday bye y'all